I'm turning 28 next month, guys. Nearly 30. It's on the on the horizon, right? Anyone 30 or over in the audience? Yeah, yeah. I've got a few over 30. Sorry for asking. <laughs> got a death stare then. <laughs> Yeah, so nearly 30. 30 is uh, going to be a big year for me. I've decided 30 is the year that I'm going to change my look, right? This is big news for me because all through my 20s, I've been cultivating this look, uh, kind of super cool, intellectual, rock star kind of look. <laughs> I never wrote that bit as a joke, and that always gets a laugh. Like, that's so hurtful, right? Like a uh, 1995 era kind of Jarvis Cocker is what I'm going for, right? But again, yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Brutal tonight, guys. Uh, <laughs> But I caught myself in the mirror the other day, right? And I feel that what I've actually cultivated is more a kind of 2018 era kind of Morrissey look. Just kind of sad and bloated and <laughs> just a massive disappointment to everyone that used to really like me. So, <laughs> so the weird thing is, though, I'd still rather look like me now at 28 years old than me at 15, 16. Because at 15, 16 years old... <laughs> At 15, 16 years old, I was quite a fat little emo, right? Okay. <laughs> and for those of you who aren't sure, emo, uh, it's a word that millennials used to use to describe um, virgins, right? And, uh, <laughs> and the fact that I was a fat emo basically translates to I was a double virgin, right? Okay, that's what that means, right? And I had a tough time as a fat emo, right? All the cool kids would pick on me. I had to act like my parents didn't really understand me. Uh, couldn't leave the house unless my sisters were into straighten my fringe, right? It's, it's a dark, as you can see, yeah, it's a dark time, right? It was a dark time. And the thing is, looking back on emo now, I used to think it was really cool. I thought it was kind of counterculture. Uh, but it's pretty obvious looking back on it that it's just a fashion choice, right? It's just like everything else. It's just a fashion choice. And the thing about fashion is... It's not really designed for fat children, right? It, it's not made with them in mind. And it'd be kind of weird if it was, right? Okay. Um, so it kind of worked for these interesting looking guys who'd mastered the high angle black and white selfie, right? But I, I was never one of those guys, right? I was never one of those guys who could do that. I... <laughs> I kind of looked like if Wednesday Adams had fucked Matt Lucas and they'd had a love child, right? <laughs> kind of like, kind of like if Russell Brand had been addicted to cakes instead of sex and heroin was, was the look I was going for, right? And it was sad because I desperately wanted, I desperately wanted that emo look, right? And it was, it was everything that went along with it, right? It was all the, the guy makeup, you know, guy liner, manscara, lipstick. I, that, that was a different thing. That was a different thing, right? And, I was desperate for the look, right? And the, you had to have the big fringe straightened over one eye, right? And my parents would always say to me, you're going to go blind with your hair in your eye like that. And I was like, well, you said the same thing about masturbation. That only made me short-sighted. So <laughs> can you see why I've got trust issues, you know? But you did. You had this big, big fringe over one eye, right? And if you were really cool, you'd have it dyed a different color to the rest of your hair, right? You look, kind of looked like you were fronting a pirate-themed boy band, <laughs> which I'd call the Pillage People, for anyone who's interested. <laughs> right? And as well as the hair, you had to have shag bands, right? These bracelets that you'd have all up one arm. you just cover your whole arm. If someone remembers shag bands, yeah? <laughs> These bands that you'd have all up one arm, right? In loads of different colours. You had as many as you could. And the whole thing around school was, if someone snaps your shag band, they have to shag you. <laughs> right? I love shag bands. I've still got all, my, all mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Piercings as well, piercings, the emos had piercings, right? And the piercing that they had, the really cool one, was snake bites, right? I don't know if you remember these, but snake bites were the little rings or studs that you had in either side of your mouth, right? And they looked so cool. I was desperate for snake bites as a kid. I wanted snake bites so badly. And I begged my mum and dad for snake bites, and they said no. And now at 28 years old, I'm quite glad that they did say no. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a fat child with snake bites. <laughs> It looks a little bit like weight loss surgery gone wrong. <laughs> like someone tried to staple my chubby little mouth shut. <laughs> and even that wasn't enough to stop me from just shoveling the food in, right? <laughs> yeah, snake bites. I'm so glad I didn't get snake bites in the end. But it was tough, right? Being a fat emo, it was tough, right? Because 
girls didn't want to know me. Guys kind of picked on me a little bit. Uh, and I had to deal with skinny jeans, right? And <laughs> skinny jeans, the clue's in the name, right? Skinny jeans are meant for skinny legs, okay? Skinny jeans on me were more like uh, skin-tight jeans. I could have basically just sharpie marked my legs. That would have had pretty much the same effect. And I could barely walk in these things because each step they just tighten around my balls like a Chinese finger trap, right? Like, <laughs> just been crippled by... God knows the long-term damage that's been done by these things, right? There's a common misconception as well around emos uh, that people think we were antisocial, didn't have a lot of friends kind of thing. And that, that's not true, right? We were early adopters of social media. We were very social, especially MySpace, right? Big into MySpace as an emo. Big into MySpace, right? And I don't know if you remember MySpace. Uh, it used to have this feature, uh, this feature that was list your top friends on MySpace, right? List... <laughs> List your top friends. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Like, just list your top friends, right? You've just you've got all your friends there. You just pick your top ones, give them a list, you know. That easy, just a bit of fun, right? It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> I kind of looked like if Tim Burton had been asked to draw Peter Griffin from Family Guy, right? <laughs> I'd have been lucky to have one friend on MySpace. <laughs> Never mind enough to make a list of. You've been absolutely lovely. I've been Dave Borden. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>